Yo, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today, this video, I will be showing you the best top 5 easy solo clothing glitches all in one video and this won't delete no outfits and as the video does go on, the clothing glitches do get better and this also does work for all platforms and this also does work for the female and male character as well but if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification as well Let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into the video. I will be showing you on how to get multiple colored helmets and you can put this on your safe joggers or your regular pants. It depends on you. Now just make sure you have your pants or your joggers ready to go. Now you will need to steal any street vehicle or call up a personal vehicle and head over to the closest clothing store on the map once you're done. Now. You will need to go over to the hat section, go over to the helmet. Now on the bottom left of the screen, these are the options of the colored helmets you could get. Now on the helmets, select the helmet on the bottom left I showed you that you want the color to be. Now after you do choose the helmet you do want, you will need to go over to the section called the LSPD. Now once you're on the LSPD, you will need to purchase the Riot Helmet. So purchase the LSPD Riot. Now back out from the hat section, open up your interaction menu. Then afterwards you will need to go over to style. Now on style, you will need to make sure the helmet visor is set on down like this. Now, once you've done that, you will need to go over to the helmet on the biker helmet right here. You will need to make sure you put it on the colored helmet that you do want. Now afterwards, close the interaction menu and register as Securo Serve and head over to the personal vehicle or street vehicle. Now, go over to the Securo Serve management, go over to style, and get ready to enter the vehicle. Now once you do enter the vehicle, make sure your character sits right away and click one to the right on style and one to the left. Then afterwards back out from the interaction menu and leave the vehicle. Now if you hold right on the d-pad and now you should see the colored helmet appear on your saved outfit like this. Now just save this as an outfit and this also does stick. Now hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get a designer t-shirt logo through a leather jacket. Now this glitch is really easy to do to be honest. Now you just need to make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map. Now once you're there, go over to the front counter once you're done. Go over to the biker outfits and choose the zombie. Once you purchase the zombie, head over to the top section once you're done. Now you will need to go over to the designer t-shirts and cycle through the designer t-shirts till you see the designer t-shirt logo appear on the leather jacket like this. Now the cool thing about this is it also does stick and also you could change the pants, shoes, put on a mask and a helmet. Now hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get a cool banana belt buckle and also it does come with some cool red pants now you will need to make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map now once you're there go over to the front counter go over to the arena war outfits go over to the character suits and choose the pogo space monkey now back out from the front counter now you will need to open up your interaction menu Go over to style and click change appearance. Now this should be spawning you into a small room. Now once you do spawn into the small room like this, you will need to go over to the apparel and cycle through the crew t-shirt style that you do want. Now back out once, just basically go over to save and continue and accept the alert once it pops up again. 
Now this should be spawning you into a random GTA online lobby like this. And now you should have this cool banana belt buckle with the red pants. Now hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get invisible arms. Now like I said before this glitch is really easy to do. Now just make your way over to any clothing store on the map. You will need to go over to the front counter, go to the Diamond Casino Heist, go over to the Refuse Collectors, and choose the first one, the Pickup. Now head over to the top section once you're done. Now once you're there, you will need to go over to the section called the Overcoat Blazers and choose the first one. And you should see the invisible arms appear like this. Now the cool thing about this is, you could change the pants, change the shoes, put on a mask and helmet. And also if you did want to, you can also glitch a FIB badge or a duffel bag onto the saved outfit. Now the invisible arms do stick. Now hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get a blue and black duffel bag and you can put this on your saved outfits. Now just make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go. And you will need to register as CEO or MC. It doesn't matter which one you register as. And this does work on any arcade business. And if you do not own an arcade business, you can tell a buddy or a stranger to lend you his. So like I said, just go over to the closest arcade that you own. And it doesn't matter which arcade as well. Now, once you do go over to your arcade, you will need to make your way over to the heist planning board. And once you're on the heist planning board, you must have the approach on the big con. That's the only way you could get the blue duffel bag. So once you do the, have the approach on the big con, you would need to make your way over to the prep board. You will need to start up the job called new gear. It should be a picture with two SWAT members. Now start up the mission called new gear. Now once you do start it up, just wait for Lester to stop talking and he will tell you to go over to the police station. And it doesn't matter which police station you have to pick up the two blue duffel bags, this glitch will still work. And if you do die during the mission or do die multiple times during the mission, the glitch will still work. Now once you do go over to the police station, you will need to pick up the first duffel bag. So there will be two duffel bags on the bottom right as you can see. So Locate the first duffel bag and pick it up. Now, once you do pick it up, you will need to make your way over to your arcade business with the first blue duffel bag and drop it off like this. Now, once you do drop it off, exit your arcade. Now, go back over to the police station and you will need to locate where the blue duffel bag is. And once you do locate where the blue duffel bag is, you will be needing to pick it up now, once you do pick it up, this part's very important. You will need any sort of flying vehicle. It doesn't matter which flying vehicle. Now, once you do pick up the second blue duffel bag, you will need to get in any sort of flying vehicle that you have, then lose the cops. Then after you've done that, you will need to make your way over to your arcade business, fly really high like this. Now jump out of your flying vehicle like this, open up your parachute, then all you want to do is try to land directly into the yellow marker. Now once you do land into the yellow marker like this, you will be loading into the arcade business like this. And once you do load into the arcade business, you should see that you do not have the blue duffel bag on your saved outfit. But that's fine. That's what we want for it to happen. Now exit the arcade then you will need to make your way over to the closest ammunition store that's near you. And once you're there, you will need to make your way inside of the ammunition store. Go over to the front counter like this. Go over to the parachutes. Now once you're on parachutes, you will need to go over to the parachute bags. And you will need to purchase the Israel Troop Bag. It should be a blue and white one. It is called the Israel Troop Bag. Now back out from the front counter. Open up your interaction menu and you will need to equip the Israel troop bag on through your interaction menu like I did on the saved outfit. 
Now, you will need any sort of flying vehicle once again. Then you will need to head over to the mass store. Fly really high near the mass store like this. Now, all you want to do is jump out of your flying vehicle like this. Now, once you do jump out of your flying vehicle, all you want to do is open up your parachutes. Then, once you open up your parachute, all you want to do is glide into the mass store. But this part's very important. Once you're gliding into the mass store, you will need to continue the spam right on the D-pad till the mass store opens up for you like this. Now, if you did it correctly and you spam right on the D-pad, once you crash into the mass door, the mass door should open up for you like this. Now, once it does, simply just save this as an outfit once or twice. It doesn't matter which one you do. Once you've done that, all you want to do is back out from the mass door and walk away from the mass door at least like 5 or 10 feet. Now, open up your interaction menu. Go over to style and apply this saved outfit you just made with the blue duffel bag. And you should see the blue duffel bag appear on your saved outfit like this. If you're enjoying this content, remember just hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, turn on the bell notification as well. And if you need any help in the comment section below, I'll try to help you guys. If you haven't followed me on Twitter or Instagram and haven't joined my Discord, all links down below in the video description. But yeah guys, hopefully y'all did enjoy this video. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.